Aditha Karikalan and his companions and entourage were coming past the forested place where the Manimatha River joins the river. On the first night, they talked about the hospitality given to the prince at Thirumudukan Ram and the temple repair work that was going on in that area. I love what Sundarmurthy Nyan did in Thirumudukan Ram, said Parthapendra. What are you talking about? asked Aditha Karigalan. Just as I said I wouldn't sing to the old woman. I don't know what it is. Tell me in detail, said Aditha Karikalan. When Sundaramurthy Nyan was on a Kshetriyatra, he came to Vratakalam called Thirumudukan Ram. As usual, he went to the village temple. The patters gave Nayan Erdarshan and said, We should sing Batikam in the name of the lord of our town and bless him. They asked. Let's see, what is the name of the Swami in this temple? Sundarar asked. The Badas named the Swami in that temple as Vrita Krisavar with the name Thirumudukan Ram. They said that name. Nayanar's face shrunk, thinking that she should sing the old lady who goes and goes, she said, Go, what is the name of the goddess? He asked. Vrita Kariswari said the temple devotees. You have given the title of old man to Swami. You have made him on an old woman too? I can't sing old man and old woman. Go away. Saying that, Sundaramurthy Nayanar angrily left the temple. The Bhattars felt that if Sundaramurthy Nayan did not get to sing Batikam, their village temple would not be glorified. So they consecrated another goddess in the temple and named her Palambakai. They again went to Sundaramurthy Nayanar's place and told him the above details and asked him to visit Thirumudukan Ram temple again. Sundaramurthy Nayanar went back to that town with a great heart and sang Batikam on Lord Balambhigay I Samatha Vrita Kriswarar. After hearing this story, Aditha Karikalan laughed heartily. Some poet who came to the great Palyavatarayar would probably have said something like Sundaramurthy. He would have said that he would not sing old and old. Is that why he married Nandini, or what? He said. After hearing this, Dripendran and Kanamaran fell down laughing. It was as if they were going to fall off the horse from their laughter. After laughing and resting, Parthapendra said, I don't know why God has created something called old age. Shouldn't he have created death by staying the same until the age that is assigned to them? He said. What if God causes? It is in his own hand to grow old and not to grow old. Said Carrie Gallen. How can that be? Kan Thamaran asked. Do we consider Abhimanyu and Aravan to be old men? The other two remained silent. In Tanjavur Palace Picture Hall, all the pictures of my forefathers are written. Vijayalaya Chola, Adita Chola, Parintaka Chakravarti all appear as old and noble. But how is my great father Rajaditya? He is a modern warrior. Rajaditya died young. So he is forever a blessed one who never lost his youth. It happened. I don't know who among us has such a blessing. The other two didn't like this talk so much. They remained silent. Why are you suddenly silent? Why are you so afraid of death? If this body goes away, another brand new body is born. Why should I be afraid of death? If my friend Vandiyadeva were here, he would approve of me. It is rare to see a man of enthusiasm like him. Even if he is taken to the gate of Yamaloka, he will laugh with joy. Said Prince Karigalan. Just then they saw two horses coming very fast on the road against them, kicking up dust. In the blink of an eye, the horses were approaching them. Judging by the speed at which they came, it seemed as if the prince's party would pass by without even noticing the approach. To see who were so arrogant, Kanamaran and Parthapendra prepared to block the way across the road by extending their vines. But the horses that had arrived halted at a short distance from them. Vandiyadeva and Alvarkadian jumped down from their horses. Prince Aditha Karikalan could not bear the joy when he saw Vandiyadeva. He also jumped down from his horse and went forward and hugged Vandiyadeva. Brother! You are a hundred years old. It is not even a moment since I have heard your name. Said Karigalan. Kanamaran and Parthapendra could see the pain on their faces when they saw this scene. 
They led the horse a little ahead and stopped. At a short distance they saw some more horses approaching. After a few minutes the horses also came and stopped. Gandamaran noticed that the people who came on those horses were Kadampur men. He approached them and asked for details. Later, the prince came to Adithakari Kalan. Come again. This Vandiyadeva is a friend to them, he was a friend to me too. But he must be blamed. He is a traitor to friendship. He stabbed me in the back and wounded me badly. Therefore it is my duty to warn you that you must beware of him," said Kanamaran.